Do you see where it says mute and it has like that arrow up? Oh, wait, oh hold on. Record? Oh, oh, I hear you. Jesus Christ. Okay, now I hear you through the computer. Do you hear me through the computer now? Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay, so, you, so we're good. Like, we're like, we good, yeah. Or I'm going to hang up on the phone. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. God. Did it blow your ears out? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, because I have these freaking uh, headphones on. And uh, God dang, man. All right okay we're good we're yeah. good all right what's going on guys what the heck is going on youtube we are here this is the first episode of children's card game podcast and this is something that i uh, wanted to start here for a while and tyler and i have just recently decided that we're going to try to hold each other accountable on staying active in this because uh outside of uh our other lives we get uh no social interaction because we're um we're just so consumed in uh well, Finn's work. actually a busybody i'm i have a uh, terrible philosophical and existential problems so. <laughs> well i was gonna say we're, we're we're consumed in either work or the dallas cowboys it depends on <laughs> yeah i just don't do like the dallas cowboys dude but, but what day no, week it is. <laughs> the houston astros are the uh, the dynasty in texas though man and i'm watching that world series game one tonight you best believe man yeah well, hell yeah, man. We'll um, spin a little bit and uh, just, I guess, to kind of catch up everybody on on uh, everything that's been going on. You know, we've, uh, you know, been really both one, I guess, kind of get back into this. And, and Tyler and I both, I think, at the same time, me, you, Cooper, Jackson, Parker, Casey, like everybody, I think all at the same time, everybody's graduated college or ROTC or gotten promoted or, you know, whatever. And everybody's like, man, I really miss playing cards everyone's I think getting everybody, old. just say it everyone's I getting think old. so everybody's it's getting old free. and <laughs> i think we all taken a break from you get long enough to grind through the um whatever part of the life we needed to yeah to get to where yeah, we're at yeah. and i think that we're all like ready to just uh kind of play a little bit more you know and uh just kind of have that sense of community again yeah it's been that, great. is that fair to say uh, yeah jackson came out from missouri just a couple weeks ago played with me stayed the weekend we played all weekend we played yeah. edison format and you know goats and stuff all weekend it was great yeah it was yeah. one thing that uh i kind of wanted to pick your brain about was edison format and not only that but um the difference between the older formats and modern format and uh, i think that's like a good segue into goat or any legacy format versus playing modern what like there's there's pros okay. and cons the goods and bads of all of it right um, so let's start with the basics then okay yeah your biggest difference between modern format and goat and Edison. Let's put goat and Edison in one pile and let's just put modern in one pile. Okay. okay. We can put goat Edison 2002 all in one pile. Fair. Okay. All that sure. Stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Go Edison 2002. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 2002 counts as well because all those formats are very much still turn based formats. Like you get a turn, I get a turn, you get a turn, I get a turn. Right. And it goes right. until, and it's like playing baseball. You play the frames until the game's done. You know what I mean? Like you each, like modern. It is like you you can go first and just win, and there there have been formats like that in the past, but all of them have been more modern, more recent formats. Every single right. one of them, without exception. Um, so um, that that's the main thing is that um, your re like your cards in your hand all have to be alive and have to be more based on what other people are playing more so than in any point in the past. Um, everything has to be meta every single card in your hand and then the second thing the, the, so the speed is the difference you know speed and just um, uh, um all around uh i yeah. guess the play style is different and then secondly the rules are different in older formats uh uh play on first draw six cards and yes. priority yeah. thing right too. right yeah um so your 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 um monsters are quick effects essentially you know um like you, you always have the priority, the ability during your turn to activate Which, them. As that's a always one. a weird conversation, trying to explain that to somebody that is, is getting into goat. Because I'm, we're like, come, come play goat because it's, it's fun and it's not confusing. And then like first turn, and like, but like priority. I, but I draw a six <laughs> like card and, and 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 wait, and his BLS triggers even though I bottom the six. Yes, yeah. 
<laughs> how does it... <laughs> yeah. yeah that's always interesting to like explain to people and it's like listen yeah. i don't know we it's a little bit of culture cool. shock but yeah. but once you play it for a little bit you really do get the old feel of the game and you get a feel for the mindset that the creators of the game were in then you know in this the full staff of konami or whatever right. you want to call it that's the, their mindset then versus their mindset now and if you notice on the bottom of cards you notice that the copyright and stuff has even changed on the bottom of cards it's not okay. copyright you know kazuki uh, takahashi anymore you know 1986 <laughs> it's like, like uh, you know, TV, Tokyo, uh, copyright, Tokyo TV, you know, 2020, you know, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Right, they, 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 right. All kinds of stuff has changed. Um, and Yu-Gi-Oh changed and went in a hyperdrive um, from Duelist Alliance on even, you know, d- before Duelist Alliance really, but Duelist Alliance on really hit the turbo button. Like right. from Duelist Alliance on, it's, it's been, it's, it feels like set cycles. Yeah. Right. You know, it feels right. like set cycles and it feels like you have to play, what's new versus uh the old days um and, well it's not it's not completely like that because you know i'm a cyber dragon player they obviously keep coming out with cyber dragon support and stuff yeah um but am i gonna just automatically win tournaments am i playing like tier zero like is, is all that you know new support tier zero and keeping up with like the the new stuff no not really you know it, it, yeah. it, it does good enough but it's wait well, and one thing i i think is like a really big difference is the fact that in uh, in things like goat uh maybe in edison it starts to and you know, teledad and stuff, it starts to um, become a little more archetype based. But you know, in goat, there's very, very few archetypes, if any, outside of like grave keepers. You know, and uh, in to- in 2002, there's no archetypes, obviously. But you know, yeah. when you start getting into that's like the biggest difference, I think, between these newer formats and the older formats is like when they come out with a new card and it's a new Cosmo card or a new, um, you know dogmatic a card or, or whatever you know it's it goes to that deck like you can't play two different yeah, archetypes unless they have a, a big sense of every um, card back in the day used to be more generic yes every exactly. card back in the day used to be yes. generic yeah these days everything's archetype specific and the generic cards they do come out with are really 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 good and they're right. chase cards <laughs> yeah right um yeah so those are all the ones for turn yeah, Broken yeah, and once per turn. Um, <laughs> I see a card that's once per turn or not or not once per turn, and I'm like, ding, you know, and that's like for me, yeah. that's always like the the light bulb in my head. I'm like, how can we do this? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I I will say that I um, you know, I was playing modern last night for the first time in a while, you know, with people, and um, we uh, I was sitting down and I was like, man, I, there's you know, you get away from modern for two two and a half years or however long i haven't been playing like competitive modern and i sit down and there's so much to learn absolutely there's so much to learn but i i pick up goat like i'll put down goat for three or four months because i just get busy with music stuff and uh i'll pick it back up and it i mean it, it doesn't change at all i mean you know some cards become a little more used but the band list doesn't change. There. yeah it's great that's and that's the comforting thing about goat format and you can you can get nostalgia you can get your Yu-Gi-Oh jollies and everything and you right. don't have to spend money and you don't have to uh, relearn you know what i mean and, and put uh, and invest a lot more time that you may not necessarily have to learn uh you know new rules new new strategies new new decks and stuff yeah um, yeah, uh, perpet- yeah, yeah. Go- and i like goat as the forever format in Yu-Gi-Oh, and it makes the most sense to have goat as the forever format in Yu-Gi-Oh. And I've kind of talked about this in my videos before where I, I say that GOAT really is a perfect snapshot of history. It's not just, you know, people saying it. Um, and the reason why I say that is because it captures the very beginnings of the GX era without, you know, those cards taking over the format. Like all the original, you know, right, right. cards are still like the centerpiece with GX just now starting to come in. And that is why, you know, in my opinion, it's, uh, you know, the perfect snapshot in time. And not oh, to yeah. mention being able to play Thousand Eyes Restricted stuff because that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so. and it's cool because like i don't know it's just a, it's just a, you know a good you know like you said comforting knowing that like it's never going to go anywhere you know yeah. you're always going to have friends that know how to play goat format and when, uh, when dueling book added the goat section i knew it was going to be around forever i knew it was going to be around forever anyways just in the community because so many people knew about it and loved it and had played it for so long but when dueling book finally did that yeah i was like it's ggs that's the format that's the forever Do you remember format. um when the goat format market spiked well okay there's two times when the goat format market spiked one is because of covid and because people need to spend money on things and sure. so they bought collector's items um the first time was in 20 when was links announced 2018 
2018. 2018. The first time that Lynx was announced, everybody was like, fuck this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing this. And then yeah. uh, everybody went and was like, I'm playing GOAT because this is so, like, this is stupid, you know? And mm -hmm. uh, all the GOAT format cards literally spiked. I remember contemplating buying a Genzo from PSV for a servant and uh, then, like, looking at it, like, after Lynx, and it was like, mm -hmm. Actually, Lynx were announced in 2017. So I just did a rewind in my head. I think it's 2017, not 2018. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's kind of weird too. I think that um, which I found this out recently, and this makes me sound like a total boomer because you know I haven't been doing any mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh stuff like at all, <laughs> at all over the last. You Tell know, me about it. Uh, well, in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I haven't done any modern Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in the last couple of years. Um, but uh, I guess that uh, you know. Uh, master rule four revised that's that's a thing and i didn't even like really know about all that until here recently um because i was like looking at you know decks like shadows and fluffles and all sort of stuff and i'm like man this link stuff really kind of fucks my shit up and and yeah. now um you know somebody the other day was like oh yeah you can put construct in your main zone without having to put it in the links and i said but dude you haven't played that long i didn't realize that had it's been that oh, yeah long. dude it's been oh my gosh long. i didn't realize yeah. you hadn't played that long oh yeah oh, fuck, because dude, i was I'm, like i was like man how, way behind exactly bro. that's what i'm saying Why am yeah, I well, talking to you? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but i uh you know getting back into it though once i found that out i was like holy shit because i was getting my ass kicked with me and my friends uh just playing cards uh you know competitive but you know casual uh you know how that how, how that goes yeah. Yeah. modern and you know i want to point out and um and so i kept putting in the extra extra link zone and then newt i don't know if you met newt or not but uh, he was like he was like what are you doing man like yeah, you can put that wherever you want because <laughs> i would like link away my i was playing barnyard and i can link away like construct and you know uh, fright for whale or whatever uh yeah. to make something he's like you know that you can put these like in the main zones like they changed it and i said are you fucking kidding me they, they fixed it like they actually yeah they fixed it <laughs> so it kind of makes uh it you know it breaks things like fusion decks and stuff you know kind of wide open in my opinion you know because yeah. it's you know but yeah that's that's been about how long I, i've it's been since i've i've played i think 2019 was the last no maybe 2020 yeah that uh, was the last competitive tournament that yeah it had to been 2019 2019 was the last competitive yeah. modern tournament that i've been to but uh no all that being said I'm getting back into modern it's uh you know knowing the the game mechanics is 90 percent of getting into Yu-Gi-Oh or back into Yu-Gi-Oh um you know the other 10 percent is just finding out what's popular you know and mm -hmm. uh and you know me I'm not gonna play like med I'm gonna play something rogue anyway so like oh, yeah, you know too, it's gonna always. be cheap for me <laughs> <laughs> so plus it's, yeah. a, it's way cooler topping a tournament with something rogue than the usual suspects exactly like, yeah you know if you, if you top a tournament with uh with tier right now people are like ooh, ooh, ooh right, the best right. Deck. yeah like, oh yeah <laughs> yeah you know? i am um, you know and those deck profiles are always cool because if you're the person watching it and you want to build that deck you want to like you know copy and paste or whatever but <laughs> for us i know that we used to just like get beer and just like watch deck profiles just so we could see like what other people were playing and we could oh, yeah. just like sit there and look through commons like all day be like what card would be good against this one card that everybody youtube you remember that sped shit? things along way more like so before you know Yu-Gi-Oh, before konami had like their own like you know Yu-Gi-Oh database before they had that completed right, you right. know we had like we had the Yu the shitty Yu-Gi-Oh wiki and the tips on the Yu-Gi-Oh wiki and we had youtube videos <laughs> that's that's what we had and we had the tips on those little cards you remember those those little tip cards, there's 50 of them that you can collect. You know what I'm talking about? They're old, right? Yeah, it's like I, I have like seven or eight of them somewhere. That's cool. But they're I don't like have any, I don't think. they're like tips. Hold on, let me see if I can find one. Um, like you used to get them in Shonen Jump magazines, which I've kept right. some of them over the Reminds years. Reminds me of um those old Pokemon cards. They weren't Pokemon cards, but they were like from the show. Yeah, you know what? I might have one of those. Yeah. Now that I see that. Yeah, I've got there's 50 of them. This is 44 50 K. And this one, this one is a tip on I just pulled a random one out. This is a tip on how to play tunes. It says tune monsters like Toon Mermaid, Toon Summer School. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mega Rot, right <laughs> Man, and Blue Eyes Tune can only be summoned if you have Toon World on your side of the field. No shit. When you yeah. summon the <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you say? That's a perfect these example because this is like this is the, these are the tips that we had. Like this yeah. is <laughs> this is what we had. You this guys and watching the show. <laughs> It says, uh, when you summon these two monsters, it's treated as a special summon, not a normal summon. Yeah. This means that you can have, you can do more than one summon during your turn. However, you still have to tribute for two monsters that are level four and higher. Right. So there you go. That's, we had that and we had season one, which was fucking bullshit because what was it? Flame Swordsman was like a spell card or some shit that and I declare, was activating. I the moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was all the knowledge that we had back in. Pre, pre pre YouTube, YouTube. yeah. yeah. But, um, um, no, I that, that tip uh, was ass though, because like, thinking about it, like that wasn't even an actual tune tip. That was just like like literally what the cards say, just repeated on right, a different card right. is what that was. Yeah. A better tune tip would be to say Here's something a tip. like, "Read your cards." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Read your yeah, really cards because card. no, exactly because um, so tunes have you have to tribute to special summon them right, like the uh, the big tunes, like tune summon skull, you know, uh, tune yeah. dark magician girl, right. Um, so you tribute your scapegoat tokens. And you might be saying, well, scapegoat tokens can't be tributed. They can be tributed, just uh, not for a tribute summon. They can right, be tributed right. any other way, just not for a tribute summon. So you tribute them to special summon a tune. So that would be an old school tip. And they didn't even have that on there. So yeah, that the, you, you, you people were spoiled. We had to figure <laughs> the shout out, shit out on our own. And <laughs> yeah, I think that everybody was, um, I remember whenever, when was this 20, no, this had to have been 2003 when battle city started um you know whenever king like bill's kingdom was finally over and battle city started yeah they started actually playing by the fucking rules um yeah they did <laughs> that's when everybody's shit get, just got completely fucked up because everybody was like you, you know playground rules you couldn't like just normal summon blue eyes anymore because yeah. <laughs> i used to just fill my deck up because that was fair yeah like, yeah exactly. one kid that could that, that could afford a blue eyes just one <laughs> yeah i'd fill my deck up with you know, uh, blue eyes and um, red eyes. Yeah, and you know, uh, dragon meteor fusion. dragon. You know, shit like that. You know, in the main the deck. In the main, yeah. in the main deck, meteor dragon fusion monster in the main deck, mind you. And uh, and everybody would be like, "Wow!" And then you know, and Battle City came along, and it was like, "Fuck, man, I gotta." <laughs> Tribute <laughs> these monsters. <laughs> yeah, and I remember everybody running around on the playground looking for Lajin. They're like, "I gotta get Lajin." You yeah. guys got one. <laughs> so you know Malcolm. Like my favorite story oh, yeah. about Malcolm. Back in the my favorite, Spirit Reaper guy. Yeah, Spirit Reaper. That so <laughs> you know people talk about blue eyes. You know, and three pot of greed and stuff. People don't talk about fucking Spirit Reaper dog. <laughs> yeah, you guys couldn't figure out how to kill that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah um that's funny and, and you weren't thinking about fissure and stuff you know and like you, yeah. you know we don't know how to read so we didn't know like targeting and it kills it and like <laughs> just stuff like that yeah spirit reaper is hard to kill and it fucking yeah. snipes your hand too and you better believe malcolm knew the fucking hand snipe effect <laughs> yeah. yeah dude it's like there's a lot of cards that when you're a kid you're like man how the fuck do i get rid of this thing you know and then yeah. like when you're older you're just like snatch to it man <laughs> It'll blow, it'll blow up <laughs> yeah eventually we've got that water do what are you talking to rainy yeah she what's came up rainy god you guys have been together forever man yeah you guys have been together like, since since nam so um when when our, our first date um was vietnam still happening or was korea or <laughs> was world war ii still happening on when we had our first day it's like a long time I'm just kidding. <laughs> civil war fuck so there's some war happening <laughs> <laughs> yeah the war on mankind <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, um yeah so me and tyler met um in 2014 i think it was 14, 14 or 15 time ago, you were playing evolves and i was playing evil swarms yeah that was i think it was the format right before duelist alliance that's what that sounds like it was no right. it was after duelist alliance um i met you and why the fuck were we playing time. those decks <laughs> We, we were playing those decks to fuck around because we were good, dude. <laughs> we were pretty good. We were pretty yeah. good. <laughs> like, dude, I, so at this note, why I was playing Evil Swarms is because people were playing dolls and stuff. People were playing Klee at, at our locals and people were trying to cheese wins with side frames. And so I just made Ophion and shat on all of it. <laughs> side frames were out when we met? Really? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. What? Like, uh, all those dudes were like, um, we really? were... Huh. So... We, st we started hanging out. We actually started hanging out in 2015. Okay. And we started wow. hanging out in 2015. Because um, I was already established and doing Yu-Gi-No-No -No stuff for a little bit. Yeah. Um, 
because uh, I started the channel in 2014, but I didn't really do anything with it until like the end of 2014. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because at Locals, you were like, yeah, I've, um, after we got done playing, you were like, you showed me this video that you just uploaded. Okay, yeah, that's coming back to me now. You, you showed, you uploaded this video that, and you showed it to me at Locals, and it was a, um, clowns mixed with, um, evil swarms. Evil swarms. Yeah, and uh, and like that was just the whole thing back then. Everything was better with clowns because it was just and, so um, crazy. Yeah, and the, and matter of fact, the format that I was talking to you about earlier, finish line that me and Jack, you know, that me and Jackson have been fleshing yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, evil clowns are back, dude. That's that's the format yeah. that we met. That was yeah. The- let's talk about talk about finish line format because it's going to be something that we're going to start making content for. Um, yeah, so let's I'm going to talk a- about that. So to start, um, um, if you guys are familiar with my introduction to GOAT format, introduction to Teledad format, introduction to Necros format, you know, et cetera, video zone, remember, have I made more than that? No, I did 2002. So I made, I made it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make another one that's like that. I want to make one about Edison eventually. I'm going to make one about um, this format we're talking about right now, which is a finish line format. Yeah. Um, finish line format um, is a format that me and Sam always uh, theorized about that we never went back and actually we looked up to see if it actually existed but me and jackson went and went back and did the work um and uh the format that me and you had theorized about that we never did the work into looking up was a format to where you could play cosmo at full power have you know clowns and brilliant fusion and have all the duelist alliance decks and uh, we didn't do it and it was fair know. too it's pretty fair we like, just didn't know if yeah. there was any if the, we didn't know when the ban list came out we didn't didn't know if there was any like actual tournaments held right, in its right. time you know blah 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 anyway so me and me and uh jackson and cooper uh we we did the work and we found a gap in time that we call finish line format because it's the very end of duelist alliance okay if you look at the time frame november november 5th 2015 is when dimensions of chaos came out so that's when dark destroyer comes out so then you got you're pretty much full power cosmo at that point because dark destroyer he's a fucking problem let me tell you <laughs> like playing that format he's, he's a problem so you got pretty much full i just power. want to point oh, out that he was not a problem for me <laughs> you have magic specters um well if you're playing cyber dragons nothing no machine's a problem right <laughs> but anyways <laughs> um, um um magic specters came out in dimensions of chaos and then uh fluffles got support in dimensions of chaos because wings and yeah. stuff came out in right. Dimensions of chaos. right so we found on november 5th we have dimensions of chaos and we're like okay so dimensions of chaos is out is there a tournament before the november 9th ban list because the the kill list for the duelist alliance era decks what banned brian ack and what you know got you know scout and you know, everything like what just killed and nerfed everything what yeah. like got uh what nerfed burning abyss everything that that list happened november 9th Okay, we found a tournament that happened November 6th, the day after Dimensions of Chaos came out, not just any tournament, it was YCS San Juan. So it was a full blown fucking YCS happened one day after Dimensions of Chaos and three days before the kill list. So we found a three day gap where you can play full power clowns, magic specters, near full power Cosmo and every Duelist Alliance era deck, every one. You know, I want to add that it, it made a lot of other decks fair because it the list prior to that which i want to say came out in july was maybe june july something like that yeah, we, um, and it, we, yeah and we are in yes and it, it rides the the format i'm talking about finish line rides the july list okay okay yeah and so yeah. in that list um not only rebanned snatch steel because snatch steel was off for like a no 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 second. you're thinking april april you're thinking april yeah you're thinking april okay. so the january list the january Either way snatch steel was snatch came out yeah. And then Necroz come out and then right. they, they hit, hit, they hurt Necroz and, and Klee a little bit and stuff in the April list, but they leave Jin and then July, they finally ban the Jin lock. The ban Jin, yeah, 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 yeah. They and finally then, banned. Yeah, either way, they, they, they take Snatch to back out. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is they, um, this list, um, actually it, it makes it to where there's not a tier zero deck there. The, weirdly enough, there's like a bunch of tier one, like a, a yeah. bunch of tier one decks and, and because uh, clowns are splashable you can play just yes. about anything yeah and uh what was it seer was it seer was that two or yeah, seer's, Scarm was yeah, that yeah. one I, I, um I, 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 some weird told, shit like that we haven't tested burning abyss we know it's a deck and we know it's a good deck in the format but we don't have the cards for that one so we haven't tested that one as much yeah. we don't i don't remember the ratios of that one but dolls um i know charge of the light brigade uh, is it two and stuff like that there's some things that aren't at full power 
Yeah, um, Necros wasn't at full power because they had they had put Brio to one, I think, or something. Two Brio. Two. Okay. I think you have two Brio at this point. Maybe, maybe no, maybe it's one Brio. Yeah. No, it might be one Brio and one Shreed on the July list. Did you they? Know what? I think it is. Put reinforcements yeah. of the army to one because I remember that hurt. No, it's a three because is I'm three. Yeah, Jesus it's a Christ, three. dude. Yeah, because wow. I'm playing three, um, three of it in um, clouds. Oh yeah, because that's why uh, Teller Knights were so fucking good back then. And God, heroes. Three. Imagine three, imagine three reinforcements in the army in, in fucking goat format. <laughs> imagine, yeah, oh my, shit. Uh, dude. I like <laughs> God, um, imagine three reinforcements in any format. You know? Yeah, but, I know. yeah, that's crazy, man. Um, yeah, so that that list, I think, you know, is arguably the most fair. I mean, it it, it is I as think, far as for fair. that era, because yeah, prior to lines. that. I mean, you can argue for for the just the July list or clown format, you know, or like you can yeah. argue for the July list like prior to Clash, but then you don't have the fun clowns and all and brilliant fusion right, and all right. the extra fun shit. Right. So like, I, I like this finish line format right. because um, it's past clown format. I know that the format library has a preset for clown format, but they they're overlooking what we found. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So you when you're talking about more. dualist alliance format. Whenever we say dual line format on okay. either one of our channels, I say dual line era. This. Right, right, right. But if you know, people are always going to people aren't going to always say that. When people, if people hear us talking about playing dual alliance format, that's what we're that's what we play, or that's what we're going to be starting to make content about, which is like the the July. 2016 yeah finish famous. line right yeah, it's gonna right. be completely different yeah. I'm, like that's what we have a new name for it like just call it finish line because it is the finish line for all all right. of those right. decks it's the end yeah because um, yeah. that list the november like ninth list was brutal like that was might have been the most brutal ban list in history because everybody loved dolls and loved ba and all these decks clee like and they, and they just went nerf all of it and ritual yeah. beast and ritual beast they fucking got rid of the ritual beast loop uh while they're at while they're yeah. at it too. yeah i remember that ban list everybody was like I mean, nobody knew what the fuck fuck fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were like, what do we play? And, right. and Cole, Cole knew what he was playing. He was like, oh, and, and, and Blake, Blake was like, I'm just going to yeah. play Cosmo because he'd already started picking up the deck. We're like, right, <laughs> look right. at you. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's what, yeah, that's what they were, you know, trying to sell at the point. But, uh, you know, and that's, that is one of the upsides about playing a rogue deck is like, you always fly under the radar. There's never been a single fucking, fluffle card on any fucking ban list there's not wait which i mean this this pendulum shit they got going on might might ban chain i was scared about that for a little bit i was just <laughs> like yeah but uh uh I, yeah playing a rogue deck man that's kind of that's kind of the uh the upside about playing some shit that isn't meta you know and yeah. uh but but yeah dude that uh that whole format is was crazy and looking back i wish that we were still kind of playing by some of the, the same game mechanics, you know, pre pre link. I think this might be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like pre link is, is always going to be better than post link. Maybe I will, I, I do agree, as, but I will say that, uh, in, uh, you, you're going to, you're going to find this when you, when you finally play finish line with this, you're going to do what I, what I keep doing and like try to turn, go turn one to make the best turn one board possible. You know, yeah. um, you're going to, you're going to do that. You're going to try that when you try the format. I know you are. Um, and you'll find that Seraphonite will annoy you because it's taking up a spot where you can make an extra rank for. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude. So sometimes that extra monster zone helps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that was another note that I had. If you, you've seen me write notes throughout this podcast, um, I had a couple before this. And here's one big question, which we could talk all day. We could boomer the fuck out and talk about <laughs> <laughs> all of this stuff. But um, what are some cards? card cards in parentheses s uh that you miss because for me i fucking miss brilliant fusion man I yeah miss it. i would say brilliant oh dude like that's banned or just not played anymore uh banned like you can't banned. play it yeah you can't, can't play, play it. it yeah i uh brilliant fusion is my, is my man i'm god that card was so good so good Maybe Auroradon for me right now because I'm still a little I'm still a little burnt from the Auroradon band because I like to make random uh, shenanigans with Auroradon. Okay, so I'm okay. Say Auroradon for right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, dude, you remember uh, what was that one card that? Oh, fuck, hold on. 
I also miss Link Cross. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that's weird, man. That's it's weird how fast they ended up banning some some of that newer stuff. You know what I mean? Which yeah, it's, it's gonna they, come back, dude, and it's gonna be good when it comes back. They too, did it to slow down. The game. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, you know, I I I saw a video the other day. Somebody doing like a reaction of like the ban list, and uh, they uh, they were talking about Cyberjar, and they're like, man, you know, arguably every flip effect monster on the uh, on the ban list could, could probably come back, you know, unless it's a oh, every effect that yeah. gets a grave effect, you I know, think, like I a think, wait, have they not all come back already? I don't know. I don't know. I know that there's I think that they already have Sam. I think that they've really? already done that. They've been like, uh, so what you've been missing is like they've been unbanning stuff silently, um, for the past two years. Yeah, on, fill me like, in on every ban list. what happened during my coma, my Yu Gi Oh coma. <laughs> I'm um, I'm back, I'm back to life. <laughs> they, um, no, they, they, so I think that we have a lure back to three and, and all kinds of stuff now. Like, yeah, they, a lot of generic cards that don't immediately net in pluses, they've just gone, gone ahead and, and just admitted it and unbanned them. You know, and a lot, yeah. there's a lot of other cards that are still on the list that could come off. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, I heard that unbanned snow for a little bit and then it didn't go over that well. And then, uh, they had to reban it and <laughs> actually it's one of my least favorite I'm mad ever. about that because I was like, fuck man, I get to play snow. I hate snow. I, hate <laughs> I love snow. that card. <laughs> no, I hate it. It's one of my least favorite cards ever. Yeah, even at one. There's cards like snow. I liked. Um, yeah. So for me, for me, um, if it's a card that just nets a fuck ton of advantage, something like brilliant fusion, or or if it's a card like snow that is not Eek. once per turn. You know, <laughs> and um, yeah, and uh, yeah, dude. I yeah, there's cards like that. You know, if it, if it's if it's not once per turn, that's me. Like uh, freaking trash panda, all that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, all that shit, man. It's a uh, they're, they're hard once per turning everything, but I get what you mean. Yeah. And in the older formats, it's easier to find loops and take advantage of uh, non once per turns and right. stuff. Yeah, like demock and stuff. It's easier to take advantage of it, but at the same time, though, it's more fair because it's slower at the same time. Like, you're, like you still have to go several turns. Like, if people think that, like, if, I've heard people, like, have the dumbest takes on goats, and, and, they, and they'll say stuff like, well, if I play goats, I'll just play FTK. Like, I don't know why anybody plays anything but FTK. And I'm like, because the FTKs aren't that fucking good. Everyone would be playing right, FTK. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. there's even, even, you know, Empty Jar and, you know, any kind of burn stuff it yeah, really isn't that you have consistent. to go back and forth and even yeah. if you do open your dream hand you, you still have to play it out like it's right. not it's goats is way fair it's way 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 fair like like yeah. that, that tournament no mean we, we had an exerion tournament this one we're still playing exerion and i won the tournament and it was talakwal and it, the final table was against you and you were playing fucking lakunga ftk yeah and like that's 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 further proof right there it's like the final <laughs> table you know like yeah and i, I it, and honestly i got i, I got lucky and like it's, I, I won because i won the die roll and like games one uh, no sorry games i won the die roll so in game three i went first and i opened with a, a dust shoot i i dust shooted you oh, that's how yeah 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 that's how that's how that's how it happened i said it in Flashbacks. those <laughs> Yeah, Lacunga FTK. I will never pick up that deck again. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe to do a profile or something, but I'll never play it. I just kind of wanted to. Fuck it's around good. It's a good deck, it's but it's really not the best. Deck. You know, yeah. it's. I, you know what? I think it's better than the spell uh, economics FTK. Really, really. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I mean, I don't know. I just um, my biggest thing is always. Uh, yeah, you know, deck building out of creativity. You know, like I'll. <laughs> I'll get on Dueling Book or Wiki or, you know, whatever, and just sit there and I'll Google search descriptions. I'm like, ads from hand to grave, dark monster Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what I mean? Or some shit mm -hmm. like that, you know? And I'll just, like, find cards that aren't once returned and just, like, fucking abuse them, you know? I don't know. That's my favorite. Just deck yeah. building out of creativity. I feel like that's not I, I like deck building honest. way more than playing. I'm just, I love deck building way more that's than playing. That's fair. I, I, yeah. I have a problem. Like ever since they they the EDO Pro made the simulator, you know, the deck edit. Ever since they made that, I don't think I've played a match online. Like maybe like tw like twice or something. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, like I barely play anymore because I'm just in the deck editor. And when I do play, I play in real life. You know. Right. Right. Yeah. I used to um get on YGO Pro and sign in. I had two accounts and I'd sign in. <laughs> on both. Yourself. Yeah, dude, that <laughs> and I'd play. I'd play myself. Uh, <laughs> 
when it I was, was testing. Before they made that. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I forgot showing our age. That. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, all right. Well, um, we're gonna do another episode of this. Um, yeah, that was sometime fun. soon, and uh, we need to figure out more topics and stuff. If you guys have any questions, um that you would like for us to answer or any topics or um anything that you would like for us to talk about at all we're gonna have other format, uh, um, but yeah older yeah. formats new stuff certain cards you know what anything you get related uh let us know down in the comments and uh we're gonna try to get other uh, other youtubers and just people in the Yu-Gi-Oh community like on this podcast as well too yeah. at some point um and uh yeah have just let us know. Start, modest start here you know episode yeah one. yeah us just fucking off and catching up and yeah yeah bullshitting we'd be doing this anyway we're just doing it recorded you know exactly yeah because yeah, like i didn't know when he hit me up to do this i was just having coffee and i was like i mean we can catch up and just shoot the yeah. shit because i was just yeah. you know having coffee and editing anyway so it's perfect right well i know that like 50 something thousand of you are already subscribed to tyler's channel you can know but go uh go subscribe if you're not and uh yeah i think that's a dick slap the dick slap <laughs> <I like them. laughs> he's been saying that since 2015 i know it. It. <laughs> i don't think anybody hasn't gotten you banned yet no i haven't seen your dog Ooh. Ooh. oh no i've seen your dog yeah no it, it, people on oh yeah you know what you did you, yeah yeah you yeah because Allie was here and she ended up yeah. throwing the toy on the roof on accident <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah that's oh, right You've seen, yeah you met my dog yeah i haven't been mad at my kid all day until now thanks <laughs> <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> all right man good. i'll see you later dude See ya. And bye. bye.